Kau dah mahu angkau kau ke pandi? Kau dah ngah kau mahu tina tu cajang tu dia dong. I don't want to lose the connection with the mothers that we feed, the children who are suffering from chronic malnutrition. And I avoid that by ensuring that I have the ability to spend time with my team on the ground who's performing the work, as well as those who are the beneficiaries of the work that we perform. And that way it keeps those numbers as faces fresh in my mind every day. The Central African Republic continues to provide a significant challenge to WFP on not just accessing people, but having the food that's necessary to meet their needs. We have, right now, over 53 trucks stuck at the border that we can't get into the country. And our failure to move those trucks into the country means that by the first week in February, we are completely out of food. So what we're now looking at is how do we airlift food into Bangui to support the needs of those who are trapped at the airport. In fact, we were able to get about 10 trucks in last week, uh, two weeks ago, with the assistance of troops. The challenge is that we haven't been able to get any more in. Traditional donors are the donors who are providing the majority of the assistance that we've received in Syria, which means that other places we've had to cut. In, in Somalia, for example, we cut refugee rations in uh, Dadaab by 20% between December and January. In Central African Republic, we are now seeing donors pledging their support to assist us. But what we need are those pledges to turn into dollars very quickly. Because both in Central African Republic and in South Sudan, we must move food before the rainy season in order to ensure that we have the food in country at the time that it's needed. So it's not just about pledging money, it's about delivering the financial assistance.